Hi folks, it's Chris Slogar from BuckeyeInklings.com and I have a great little um, gift set for you today. It uses the note cards and envelopes that are available in our annual catalog. On page 195, I'm using Whisper White um, cards. The cards themselves measure five by three and a half and the envelopes are a little bigger so this folder which you can make for them from one sheet of 12 inch square designer paper houses um i have four cards and envelopes in them and my cards are pretty pretty thick with um dimensionals and embellishments so um, if you had really flat cards you could probably put three on each side but i've just got two on each side and I've taken the um, stamps from Picture Perfect Birthday and used them for the party blowers and the candles and the greetings, but I am coordinating with um, the Bubbles and Fizz paper because I needed a 12-inch square. And I, I just love that in our occasions catalog, you'll see a lot of cross-coordination possible between the celebration items and the different suites. I've even pulled the... Um, sequins the adhesive sequins from the tutti frutti bundle so um take a look at what you've had what you have you can make these cards uh really in any theme in fact i'll have these pictured and dimensions for these on my blog but let's make a folder to go just to show you something different with these cards from petal palette um very simple little design I've used here just with a couple of the stamps. I don't know if you can see, I've got Wink of Stella on these colored flowers. Um, that's really sharp. And if you're going to try to duplicate this, just so you know, this um, length of the pink spotted stamp, that that is stamped twice. And I've got the overlap here, so I didn't have to worry about lining it up. And I've also only cut one of these in Smoky Slate. And I, I cut it about here and pulled, pulled one end out to make it look longer under there, but it's actually a cut piece under there. So just um, so you know if you're trying to duplicate this. All right, so we're going to make a folder for these with the Petal Palette paper, or Petal Passion paper, and it's going to look like this in the end. So let me show you how to do that, and we'll make and decorate that one. If you have a directional paper like I want, in this case, my vines to be um, with the leaves pointing up, and I want that to be vertical. Start with that side placed as you want it to look on the front of the folder. Okay, and then score at one and three quarters, five and three quarters, six and a quarter and ten and a quarter okay now keeping that in mind which side is up see how on the inside one of the um, one of one of the um, folds is up higher and and then this length that's on the lower half of the folder is longer so I kind of like this shorter length up at the top, and I'm, I'm, I need to pay attention to that if I'm scoring paper that has direction to it, um, because I want whatever's going to be at the top of my folder to be the narrower score. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rotate that to um, 90 degrees to the left, or counterclockwise, and I'm going to score that at two and a half and then the other um the the lower half the score for that comes in at eight and a quarter okay and let me show you how this comes together now as i've said before when i work with our designer paper i do kind of work the folds gently back and forth before i crease them hard because our designer paper is very thick and um, especially on these dark colors, if it cracks and you see like a, a white fiber, um, you might not like that. So I, I kind of work my folds back and forth a bit. I'm gonna do each one. 
before I crease them very hard. So bear with me. Got one more down here. Okay, there, I think I've, I've at least given them each a light crease. All right, and then what you're going to do, whatever the spine color is for your folder, you're going to put that side down to your table, and then at each one of the four corners, you're going to fold the corner until it comes to that vertical score line, okay? It's not going to meet the other score line that's um, farther away. It's just going to meet the one that's one and three quarters from the edge. Okay, and I'm going to do that on all four corners. And again, the, the side you want to be on the spine of your folder is the side you'll see on that little triangle. It gets a little confusing when you start to fold this, but you'll see that this works. Okay, so I have all four corners folded in, and then I'm also going to fold along those what were vertical folds this way. Here's the spine that's going to be on the outside. And then these, the top, which is, this is the shorter dimension, it's going to fold in like so. And the bottom will also fold in like so. Okay, so now you're seeing the outside of your folder here. And I do have the shorter side near the top. Just going to tuck the little triangles together. You'll see they, they fit pretty perfectly. And I'm going to add adhesive to secure the triangles um, down on the inside, just so they're, they're not flapping up and, and getting in the way. Okay, so here's the inside of the folder now. And then we're going to fold, there's two folds for the spine. And already you can see you've got the pouch. Now these um, four cards, actually these four cards are a little less dimensional than the birthday set I showed you. And those can just tuck into these pockets like so. Okay, and that folds up really tidy. Um, on this one, I am going to use a bit of this um, powder pink shimmer ribbon. And let me see if I can do that with the cards in. Let's see. I'm going to center this um, using my grid paper here um, on the center line just so I know where to put some adhesive. Put some adhesive on the front and the back. And then I found that a length of 24 inches um, for your ribbon is plenty. So kind of find the middle and I guess, about the middle, yeah, put that at about the spine and tack that ribbon down. Oops. I'm going to get the adhesive covered. All right, and wrap that to the back as well. Once again, make sure your adhesive is covered. Okay, and I've got the cards tucked in there, really cute. And I'll just tie this um, at the side. And then what I have made for this one, and again, I'll have pictures of the cards and folders, um, still pictures on my blog. So you can use the link um, to get there. I cut one of the largest um, stitch circle framelits, and I am going to put that on here. 
And then I've also colored um, the roses from the Petal Passion set. I've colored them with the pink pirouette, which is pretty close to powder pink. Um, so that's going to look nice together. Uh, for my decoration on the front here and I'm also going to pop those up there's there's a bit of wink of Stella on the roses too just like on the matching note cards that were inside so um, that's just going to be a really nice coordinated little set okay this ribbon might be you might need to fuss with this a little bit to turn it out of the way maybe maybe make a little smaller bow here and trim and trim that okay but you get the idea here and I also want to show you real quick um, those narrow note cards which I've been using a lot that are so cute um, you can also modify this same method and make a, a folder for those as well so let me show you that real quick if you if you if you're done you just wanted to see the other one um, you can tune out now but let me show you real quick then to make a pouch for the narrow note cards we're starting with a smaller piece of paper and this DSP I don't have a concern over direction so I'm not going to worry about that but it is a smaller piece to start it measures nine and a half by 11 and I've got the nine and a half inch side up to the top and I'm going to score this at one and a quarter, four and a half, five and eight and a quarter. Okay, so that's the long dimension. And then you're going to rotate that. Again, if you have a directional paper, keep in mind if you want like that short side at the top or the bottom. But I'm just rotating and now scoring at two and a quarter and seven and a half. Okay, we're going to use the very same method. And you can probably already start to see how you could modify this for, um, you know, different size things that you might want to make little folders for. All right, so I'm I'm just pressing a light fold into all of those score lines. And just like in the other um, example, we're going to start with, okay, I want the the spine color, I want to have the stars, so I'm going to put that down. And then we're going to fold in each corner to that vertical um, score line. That's one and a quarter from each edge. Okay, and we're going to see on those little triangles the um, color that will be the spine color, the outside spine color. All right, once you have those folded in, remember we're folding along that vertical. That's just, um, in this case, one and a quarter from the edge. And then, um, remember we've got to make the top and bottom fold. Whoops, let's do this from the front. Um, going to fold in along that score line and the lower half we're going to fold in and see those come together overlap a bit and we're going to tuck the um, triangles under each other and again just a little bit of adhesive to hold the triangles together or the, hold those triangles down on the inside. Okay, this could have been a little neater, I think. There we go. And then we're making the spine now on the outside. And there we have that same little pouch. I won't decorate it here, but um, uh, say we have two cards that are somewhat dimensional because I have the party blowers on dimensions. They'll fit nicely on each side. 
Okay, so whatever you make on your narrow note cards, you can also house those in a little folder like this too. Okay, so I'll finish decorating that and have that along with the dimensions on my website and the other cards. Um, and pull those in here. The other folders as well. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you'll give it a try. Um, really fun, and I think it's a great little gift set. Thanks. Bye.